Uh, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us uh, today. Uh, I know that since the lockdown, there is a webinar fatigue, uh, but uh, this is such an important topic and uh, it's very timely. So we just decided to go with it. Uh, this workshop was supposed to take place in Kurdistan, but uh, because of the pandemic, we couldn't do it. But uh, now uh, maybe with, uh, with this way, we reach more people. Uh, so this webinar is a part of a, a larger project funded by the Elena Nasta Ferguson Charitable Trust. Uh, it's called uh, Youth Violence and Conflict Transformation. Uh, we look at five different case studies, uh, including Kurdistan. Uh, the others are also Algeria, Bosnia, Afghanistan, and Colombia. Uh, we specifically look at uh, youth activists in these countries and how they contribute to social and political change when the conflict, when the uh, country is going through a transformation after a conflict. Uh, so, uh, and in, in the Kurdish case also, it's very important and uh, we see there are a lot of developments. There are uh, youth organizations forming up in Kurdistan and uh, they are politically active. They are uh, also uh, in, in other topics such as gender. Uh, so uh, we have a lot of uh, fantastic speakers today, uh, but I, I'll just um, present our keynote speaker and then the other panels will be chaired by uh, Shivan Fazl and uh, Ibrahim Sadek. Um, so we start with the keynote with our keynote speaker, uh, Mr. Karwan Jamal Tahir, uh, who is the K uh, Kurdistan Regional Government's High Representative to the United Kingdom. Uh, he was also the former Deputy Minister, Deputy Head of uh, uh, Department of Foreign Relations in Kurdistan. So the floor is yours, Mr. Tahir. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Bach, and very good morning uh, to you all. I'm very glad to be here today with you all, uh, uh, seeing uh, you know very. Uh, old faces and some new faces as well. Uh, I wish we could uh, we could have done this in a real uh, live, but this is the second best we can do to get together vir virtually and keep uh, the life uh, moving. The theme of my talk today would be about the Kurdish youth from two different perspectives um, uh, and in two different uh, era. An era where the youth uh, was under the suppressive oppressor and uh, dictatorial regime and the era under the democratic system, globalization and social media. But first of all, let's see uh, how the world defined the youth. Uh, they all uh, agree that the youth is an essential part of any nation's social, political and cultural, uh, cultural and, um, uh, and economic capital and must always be nurtured or and uh, societies with the way. Uh, there are also the different uh, definition of youth, uh, of youth age. The United Nations and the World Bank uh, agree in defining youth as between 15, 24 years uh, old. We in Kurdistan region, uh, for statistical purpose and planning, we define the uh, age group between 16, uh, 35. Uh, although that even the older generation still uh, they feel that are uh, young and consider themselves within that uh, range. Um, to understand uh, to understand the Kurdish uh, nation's youth, we have to reflect back uh, on the history of the Kurdish nation. This is since the environment that the youth live and grow in has an impact on behavior, the way they perform, and their uh, trajectory. Then we can see how important 1635 years of age in our history and need to be nurtured. Uh, uh, and, uh, and also uh, we have to ensure that is continue in constantly changing circumstances. Throughout the history, Kurdish nation has lived off its land and soil, always being peaceful and believed in coexisting among the uh, different people and uh, nations of the wider region. From the era of um, the Ottoman Empire, Kurdistan was exist and was influential entity. Many historical map uh, that include Kurdistan as a united entity and historical researchers cooperate this fact. But Kurdistan then divided, started with sykes bicot Treaty, uh, you all know on 1916 between Britain and France that has uh, that had the most influential in the Middle East. But however, this agreement was not implemented in letter, uh, but more in spirit. 
this followed by several uh, treaty which promised an independent Kurdistan, but unfortunately they were changed uh, by the emergence of Turkish Republic, where the nationalist movement convinced the then the Greek Empire to block the treaty. Then uh, several was succeed, uh, succeed, succeeded by Lausanne Treaty, which also denied uh, Kurdish nation who dividing them against their will between the new Turkish Republic, Iran, and two newly created state of, uh, uh, of Iraq and Syria. My primary focus uh, here is on uh, what, is known, uh, what is now known formally as the Kurdistan region in Iraq, whose status and right are formally recognized in the landmark Iraqi constitution of 2005. Although that is, I mean, the constitution far from fulfillment in law and in spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished attendees, from Iraq's creation as a British uh, dominant in 1920s and as an independent republic in 1932, the Kurdish nation tried to engage politically uh, to gain its national right. However, in Iraq, whether under monarchy, republic, then dicta dictatorship, Kurds were oppressed uh, for a century. That injustice uh, and suffering led to the rise of uh, Kurdati, we call the Kurdati, the Kurdishness. From this point, I will discuss the role of youth. Uh, that historic background, I gave it to get to this point. Uh, discuss the role of youth in the Kurdistan struggle for liberty and uh, democracy. The continued uh, oppression and prosecution has created an environment where the Kurdish youth have started to enlighten and educate themselves on various philosophy of struggle and, and liberalism, such as leftist ideology, a track of Marxism and Leninism, Leninism philosophy, that the large part of the world revolved around this block then uh, as a common struggle against imperialism. This enabled youth to become an engine of the revolution the political, organizational struggle, worker struggle, women's struggle, and armed struggle later on. The youth in Kurdistan was crucial in developing the path of democracy, a sense of national responsibility, and building leadership and role model within the parties and organization. The epoch of dictatorship was the most aggressive period for the youth in Kurdistan, where they were oppressed, denied, denied their identity and isolated from the world. This behavior instilled the spark of the struggle in youth heart and mind for liberating their nation. Therefore, they resisted Ba'ath's regime. They have mobilized themselves through the certain um, uh, or creating a various organization and unions. The most important of them at that time uh, uh, being the Student Union of Kurdistan. Through this organization, they strived for the nation's identity and stressed the existence of the Kurdistan uh, nation or Kurd as a nation, its right to self-determination and, e uh, and equally, um, you know, to live equally with the other nation. Youth in Kurdistan during that period, apart from organizing themselves, they also have encouraged the other groups and classes like workers, peace and, and women to define the right path for struggle and demand of right to collectively constitute a productive role in the revolution and the mass movement. The established, uh, uh, the, the established relation uh, that they had uh, with the youth organization regionally and internationally to understand uh, and to learn from other nations struggle for uh, liberty, democracy and justice. Meanwhile, the oppressive Iraqi regime have always feared the youth and have isolated them from the outside world to demise the Kurdish cause and their rights within Iraq. But the Kurdish youth um, secretly worked with youth group of the other nation to amplify the Kurdish cause on the international stages. 
This was despite the constant attempt to silence the civil, political, and organizational struggle of, uh, uh, of the youth. But political activities in Iraq, however, at the certain period of time was narrowed and then banned with the imprisonment uh, and execution of thousands of youth. The revolt was the answer. Uh, which created an environment that inspired many Kurdish youth to engage in political activity and become an engine of party, party media. The youth was the central part of erecting the re revolution and formed its leadership and military commanders. So in this area, the youth uh, uh, sacrificed immensely and they become inspiring history makers in uh, liberating Kurdistan region and establishing democracy. This will lead me to the uh, second area. So how we see the youth in the area of uh, democracy. It is evident in this area with adaptation to the political, social and economic atmosphere, the Kurdish uh, or Kurdistan youth vision and perception as well as their desire and demand has changed thoroughly. Uh, Kurdish youth uh, learned about the outside world, globalization, uh, equality, human rights, civil uh, strife, and also the well-being and the way or even the way of life of other nations. Uh, uh, all this have increased uh, the Kurdistan youth's desire to have significant engagement in politics and to have their say strive for moderation, uh, the political moderation in political system, to have the youth uh, fingerprint. They have built many uh, civil and democratic uh, organization to strengthen the democracy and to contribute in changing the society. For that, they become a major uh, electoral uh, participant to provide uh, their view or to have a role in the political process in, uh, in the country or in the region. The survey shows our youth have electoral participation of 69.7%, almost 70%. Kurdistan youth also played a key role in developing the economy through their contribution in the public and private sector. The 2019 uh, uh, statistic, Kurdistan Statistic Institute, reveals that the Kurdistan region is in fact a young society with 15, 35 years or yes, yes of all, constituting 62% of the population and 43.5% of, uh, of them considered as a workforce of uh, Kurdistan region. The unemployment rate uh, was 9% until 2014, according to the Kurdistan Survey Institute. Unfortunately, the political and economic turmoil stemming from the constitutional dispute to the war with ISIS uh, has, result, has resulted in a, a rise of unemployment by 23%. So now we have almost 23, 23.5% uh, unemployment uh, for those from the age of 15 to 35 years of old. So if you look at the statistic, we see that the youth constituted an excellent workforce from 2005 up until 2014, when the Kurdistan region enjoyed a golden age of uh, prosperity and rebuilding the economic infrastructure, while the KRG or Kurdistan region tried to uh, um, uh, tried the possibles to create uh, work opportunities. Uh, what are the possibility? What are the possibles that the government have provided in education? Um, uh, our government made priority of education to uh, overcome the isolation that the youth endured under the consecutive chauvinist regime uh, previously in Iraq. Education is free uh, up to age of nine and uh, denying education by law uh, of children violating uh, the law. Uh, government strategy has led to opening many universities, colleges, and uh, vocational institutes with a 78% participation rate. 
92% receive their public uh, uh, education and 6% receive pri uh, private uh, education. Also, uh, the human capacity uh, uh, development building scheme uh, of Kurdistan regional government was another uh, endeavor to build on the human capacity through this uh, scholarship program. So, and what are the relation between youth and the authority uh, in Kurdistan region? Uh, for the Kurdistan region and its government, youth is uh, an immense wealth uh, and the leading uh, energy of society and the country's progress. The Kurdistan region uh, understand uh, and value the role of uh, the role and effort uh, of the youth. And accordingly, the government designed strat strategies and policies of opening up the uh, political environment for youth to be more involved 